This video is for those who use sub accounts for ClickSlow. You should have gotten this message already. If you haven't, pay attention. In this video, I'm going to go through this process here. You should have been greeted with a message that says your account needs to be transferred. Simply put, ClickSlow is shutting down their agency account. What does that mean for you? If you have an agency account, you'll need to transfer it to the master account, which is high level or to another agency account. So let's click learn more. I'm sure you've read this already, just in case you have not. It says ClickSo is closing their agency with high level. Most likely we won't speculate. However, this shuts down. Today is the 7th of October so in 10 days they will officially shut down not even 30 10 and so they're telling you why why moving your account to high level will provide you these options I know that for many of you you've been complaining about help and you're not receiving help from ClickSlow so this could be an option that allows you to get help directly from high level. So here we'll go over four pieces of keynotes here. So one, obviously ClickSlow is a agency account of the master account for high level and you may have a sub account. So nothing really changes in the infrastructure, the same infrastructure. You get 24 seven support. High level is really good on their support. And you get exclusive resources. You gain access to various lives, various other information that will help train you. Unless you want more personalized service where you can hire someone like myself. Personalized support High levels onboarding team, they'll help you with the transition. Here you would click transfer. And then it starts to ask questions. Now I have a high level account. So I would then, did you, cr did you already create a high level account? My answer would be yes. Your answer may be no. So let's say your answer is yes. Now you begin to fill out the necessary information here. Let's say we go with, I'll have to go back and search for my relationship ID. Here is saying how to locate it. So let's click how to locate it. And voila, how do I find my agency relationship seven digit number? And here you'd log into, let's maximize this a little bit. So when you log into your account, go to company and you should have your relationship number under company, under settings. Or well, under settings, under company. And then if you have any help, you can just click and then copy and go from there. That's it for this video. I wanted to just share that aspect of it with you so that you are aware of what's going on with high level and click slow. If you have any questions, type it in and don't forget to comment.